I'd like to explain how to create a YouTube channel and to post your first video. I'm assuming that you already have a video recording saved on your computer. There are many different pros and cons to video hosting platforms. One advantage of YouTube is that you can share your video not only with your class but publicly if you so desire. Alright, let's go to youtube.com. You can sign into YouTube with any Google account. Um, I'll do so with my fake Google account here. Wonderful. So to create a YouTube channel, you can just ask to post your first video. So we go to this upload video button in the top right corner, upload video. We've never post posted a video before, so automatically it'll ask us to create a new channel. So great, let's get started. Do I want to use my Google account name or my own custom name for this YouTube channel? Here I'll just use my Google account name. And we can um, update our profile, but let's not do so right now. So we'll set up our profile later if we desire. Wonderful, so that was it. We've created our YouTube channel, and now let's upload our first video. I go to the same upload video button, and I want to upload a pre-recorded video instead of going live. Here I can now drag and drop a pre-recorded video, or I can select it from the file system on my computer. I have a video already. This is an introduction video to a channel on online instruction. So YouTube is starting to upload the video. Um, it takes a while for a video to upload. While it's uploading, let's give the video a title. So an introduction to a channel on online instruction. I already have written an abstract, which I'll paste into this description window before uh, below. You can select a thumbnail, meaning a picture to go with this video, or a playlist that it might be associated to. For example, you might have a different playlist for each class, but we won't do that right now. You are required to select whether this video is designed for kids or not. This one is, is not made for kids. Wonderful, so I go to the next screen. YouTube asks if I want to add an end screen to the video, say with any links to online resources. Let's not do that now. And finally, I need to decide who will get to see this video. I'm going to make it publicly available. You might want to copy and paste this video link. So this is a link that you can share with your class so that they can access this video once it's up. If you forget to select that link now, you'll, you'll have options to do so again later. Wonderful, so I'll click Save. And my video is now uploading, so it's not yet finished, but once it is finished, it'll be automatically available and, and public on YouTube. Fantastic. Uh, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.